three, two, one. A day that will forever resonate with the people of Blackstock. As the ribbon fell, so did the tears of joy. Uh, it really makes me tear up. For Carolyn Boldware Salters, a lifelong resident, the new Blackstock Public Park is not just swings and slides. It's a testament to the warmth of a community where neighbors are family. It's a very warm community. Neighbors are your best friend. It's more than a playground. It's a symbol of roots buried deep in the soil. When I first came out of high school and got my first job, my father asked that uh, my brother and I purchase pro a property. You know, we wanted a new car, but that wasn't what he wanted us to do. He wanted us to buy some land so that we could be close here at home. My father, he was so involved with the community, and as soon as um, he found out that the county was looking for some property here in, to put apart, he came to me and he said, um, if you're not going to put anything there anytime soon, he said, would you consider selling the property to Fairfield County. Fairfield County Councilmember Peggy Swearingen emphasizes the impact of this oasis in a place where sidewalks and parks are a rarity. No, not out in the country. You don't have sidewalks. This is wonderful. You got this, and like I said, you can stroll your babies. Your children can ride their little bicycles with you. The park is still without an official name. Swearingen says it should carry the legacy of the man who made it all possible, Carolyn's father. John M. Bowyer. Yes, and that really touched my heart. Ah, it's just, it's heartfelt. For Street Squad in Fairfield County, I'm Walker Lawson, News 19, WLTX.